Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video but before we get into the reaction guys once again I want to say thank you for just subscribing and you get a super amazing and yeah uh, keep on subscribing make sure you you turn on that notification bell so that whenever we post you'll be the first person to actually uh, watch our videos or maybe you'll be the first person to receive their notification and yeah, so today we're gonna do another reaction video, and this one right here is by uh, Zakir Naik. Why are music and dance prohibited in Islam? So without any further ado, let's get it. Good evening. Uh, my name is Nikhila. I'm a dental student. Uh, my information about Islam is really uh, less. Uh, whatever I know is because of my friends. My question is. I've read this poster, they say that music and dance is like uh, not accepted in Islam. Why is that? I mean, you cannot say it's generally also you can, you know, listen to music or singing or dance or whatever. Uh, you cannot just say like only for Bharatanatyam or for any form of dance you have music. In general music also we have you when you praise God, when you show your emotions. Why is it said that music and dance is not allowed? Sister asked the question that why is it in Islam that music and dance are prohibited? First I'll come to music, then I'll go to the dance. As far as music is concerned, a beloved Prophet Muhammad said that the musical instruments, as a general rule, they are prohibited, except he gave permission for the duff, that's the one-sided open drum, called as duff or duffly. Besides that, the Prophet prohibited because if you analyze it takes a person away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the remembrance of Almighty God. That's the reason when we hear these, you know, film songs, whether it be Hindi, it may be Malayali or Tamil or whatever it is, you find that in these film songs, most of the words that are mentioned, they are far away from reality. You know, the hero tells the heroine, I'll get the moon for you, I'll get the star for you. We know it's not possible. No man can get the the star or the moon for his lover but yet we keep on repeating because of the ambience because of everything so because of this general rule is that the music does take a person away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is the reason a beloved prophet prohibited musical instruments except for duff or as generally with your voice for example when a person recites the Quran if he recites the Quran his voice is good that's permitted because that takes a person towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The musical instruments along in the background do create a different ambience. Otherwise, singing per se, it is muba, optional. As long as the words of the song, they take you towards your creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the words of the song take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even that type of song is prohibited. Now come to the second part. Why is dancing prohibited? There is no verse in the Quran or no hadith that I know of which says dancing per se is haram. But normally because people dance to show to the other people, you know, we have dance performance on the stage where as you Bharat Natyam. Now you're doing Bharat Natyam on the stage and thousands are watching you. So normally in terms of the hijab reason, we wouldn't like to expose our ladies, our mothers, our sisters, our daughters on the stage and thousands of people looking at them. So any profession in which the body is used as a show, as to entertain the people, it is prohibited. That's the reason dancing in public or dancing in parties where we have opposite sex mixing, many a time the rules of dancing, they conflict with the rule of the Islamic Sharia. Normally when you have a dance, you have pairs, male and female, and most of these pairs, that the girlfriend, boyfriend, and you dance in front of other people. So because it breaks the system of Islamic hijab, that's the reason per se, it is prohibited because it goes against the system of hijab. So you have to realize that many a time when you dance, you dance in public, you go out for parties and you move around. Otherwise, with you and your wife, you can do what you want as long as it doesn't go against the Sharia. Alone in closed doors, husband and wife, 
what they want to do as long as it doesn't go against the rules of the Quran and Sahih Hadith, there's no problem. But because most of the time dancing exploits the body, it includes singing, dancing, you go on the stage and other people are watching, so it breaks the rules of Sharia, of the hijab. And you can hear my video cassette, Women's Rights in Islam, Modernizing Outdated, which speaks in detail. Why do we Muslims protect? Why do we love? Why do we revere our women for? Because we love our women, that's the reason we protect them and we don't want to exhibit them. That's the reason professions which involve singing in public or dancing or modeling, these professions are prohibited for a lady. Hope that answers the question. Uh, what do you think? It was very interesting to listen to, but then he talks about Sharia law, mm -hmm. Sharia something. something whether, like that. whether it's a law or something, don't you think Money if... Or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. If the law says don't dance, but the Quran itself says doesn't say anything, the hadiths themselves don't say anything, don't you think you should follow what's in the Quran than the law? Because the law is by the government, is it not? But it's not by the government, it's by the Sharia law, which is entangled with Islam. Yeah, but then... But who <laughs> made Sharia law? I think... It's Islamic I law, think, but... Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it's man-made. Man made it to suit the Quran. But then it's not in the Quran that you shouldn't dance. Mm -hmm. Is it dance and what? Uh, sing. Mm -hmm. music. music and dancing. Yeah. Do you understand? But, okay, I understand what you're saying, yeah? But I also get what is, 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 is trying to say, you know? Yeah, you can dance. But he's talking about dancing in public to show, especially for women. You know, um, the people that want to do um, appropriate dancing, yeah, at a wedding, why are you going to dance like a crazy person at your age? If we're going to dance at a wedding, don't you think it's just going to be the one to one to step thing? That that kind of dance is really mature, and and it's 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 what um, I mean. There's moral behind that too. You know, those one to step, you know, those soulful kind of dancing, not the kind of dance you see nowadays bend mm -hmm. over and all this kind of stuff or what what and all you see there's just so much going on you could get it. so i think what he's saying um is like especially just to protect the women or to protect the, the women of islam so um it's prohibited for one to stand on the stage and start dancing go to parties and start dancing you know exposing yourself that's the only the, attracting attention yeah to i get it yeah true you know, once you start dancing, and uh, of course you you attract attention. Once you attract attention, of course um, people want to see, want to mingle with you, and all those kind of things. And again, once you start going into that um, road, you find yourself in a space where you start doing things that you could have not even thought of doing. Them. So anyway, yeah. Um, and then when it comes to the music, you're saying everything is prohibited, just the duff? Yeah, as long as you, you're making is, uh, the, the door and, 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 and there's a touch of God's words in there, then that's fine. You know? <laughs> I love how he spoke about lovers saying, like, I'll get the stuff for you. Mm. But then, don't you think even without oh, all, you. <clears throat> don't you think even <coughs> without the instruments, you still sing that for your lover? No, but again, that's more like superstition. No, no, it's not just superstition. It's more po like poetic sometimes when you're writing figurative. Yeah, I know, I, I know. Yes, I know. It's it's good to have such kind of things, but again. Um, I think Dr. Zaki Naik also should not take it too serious because this is just music, you know. And but this, it's the religion. Yeah, yeah it is. It is really religion. But now, what about love songs? You know. What about a song that just talks purely about love? Yeah, maybe someone can suggest the love song. We can react to that. Has you know, no um, because, instruments. Yeah, because the thing is, 
okay how are you supposed to be romantic or uh, just, just just be able to talk to your partner you know or even just suggest something to, to someone to go and listen to and pass a message do you understand i i, I, I get it in the, in, in the quran there are so many uh, chapters and it's verses about, don't you think it's about being realistic yeah but again, I understand what he's saying. I mean, being realistic about mm -hmm. things, not catching a grenade. Of course, nobody's going to mm -hmm. catch a grenade. Even your mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your mother will never catch a grenade for you. He will either negotiate with a killer or... No, <laughs> not mother's words. No. The mother's words. If a gun is, 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 is being pointed at your mother, he will not die for you. And, uh, I mean, you have to be realistic as possible. I understand when uh, Dr. Zaki Naik is talking about like all this uh, fictional stuff mm -hmm. like movie type of thing you understand so you can't promise someone heaven and then you give them what something else only for them to end up in hell exactly you know <laughs> and and, and also they... more like again also I mean I mean no this is runs deep to be honest is it true that when you die you're gonna meet 12 virgins is it 1272 72 virgins uh some preachers talk about uh no no preachers i've seen this verse not a verse particularly in the bible or what just out there um a best match is made out of <coughs> made, made in heaven hmm? i think i've heard something like that yeah like best best couple is made of made out of heaven so we are we are trying to remove that understanding of us being here on earth. So on earth, you cannot find a perfect match. It's only probably in heaven and whatnot. Do you understand? Is it because uh, in heaven everything is just pure, that's where you can find a perfect one or someone that you can be with? Here on earth, you have to struggle, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's just a. Um, it's just something that one has to also think about okay. when you look about realistic type of thing so should you have to die so that you, you you're able to find your perfect match or should, should you find your perfect match here so that you can ascend all together to heaven in a perfect world you see so i don't know but i'm trying to get you to talk about the he spoke about how the ambience changes changes when the instruments there is something important that you always say like when you go to these concerts all those beats all those drums yeah like put you in this sort of trance yes i mean yeah it depends because even the people who are reciting the quran and the people who are singing in these churches at what frequency are they playing this music uh to or at or something like that because uh, as much as you're putting the god's words in there of course it's going to look more um uh, <coughs> uh, better and good but again, we have to understand that the earth resonates with different type of frequencies. And there's 444 hertz, there's different kind of frequencies. There are frequencies that are lower than that, which are not, um, what do you call this? They are not aligned with the earth's um, frequency, which we might not, when you, when you have that kind of music, it puts you it puts you in a trance or maybe it puts you in a position where there is imbalance you understand so but once you pay you play the music that resonates with the arts frequency you tend to align with the arts uh, um, frequency and then you find yourself at a better place sometimes you listen to kind of music you find yourself hyped up you listen to this kind of music you find yourself sad you know music is just is a is a is a not a tool but it's what like depends what you're trying to explain music is just something that um creates emotions in different ways it, depending on what kind of emotion you are any 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 music will put you at a place where uh, it depends um, it depends on how you feel and the kind of music you're listening to. 
if you're listening to soulful kind of music, it tends to put you in, in, in it this. It affects your mood. Yeah, it affects your mood and whatnot. So there's so much that entails or to talk about the frequencies and whatnot and all this kind of stuff, but we're not going to talk about that. But as much as music is, is concerned, I think Zaki Naik has a point. Yeah, I was going to say the you same know? thing. I actually agree with yeah, him. Yeah, because... has a point. Because once you listen to one particular thing, and it talks about, you know, Allah and whatever good things and whatnot, it actually um, blends in into your brain or something and resonates with you. Maybe. Point. Otherwise, I was going to say I agree with him because um, there's some event we had when we were home. They played drums. It wasn't even for that long, I think. But then the headache I woke up with. So I told my mother I had a headache and she was like, it should be the drums. So it's like parents are actually aware that some of these instruments, I know. Mm. But then they should also educate us on that, you know, so that we fully understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah what those things do to us so that's that anything yeah i mean there's so much to these things uh, i think people should do a lot of research so that you understand the kind of frequency you're in another way yeah but this is what i thought to understand how come there's some muslims out there that listen to these worldly music mm. Because I've seen influencers on Instagram actually yeah. using this music to promote their products. I think it's the is 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 the um, the pressure. Is it that those ones are more not more religious? You say no, no, not Some, really. No. They're religious, but, but they are they, just into this worldly thing. I mean, they just. I think they. I think. I think it's it's a it's a what they're in a process of trying to accept it. I think what? accepting to listen to this type of music, but I think they can listen to music. Yeah, they can dance. I think they are open to the world things, but not forgetting that I'm Islam and have to pray five times and blah blah blah. Do you understand all these kind of things? We understand I think that. maybe but some of them do listen to these me? things, but when they go on pray, uh, to pray, they ask for forgiveness. You know, they have no choice. I think so. I don't know. But again, in this kind of world, you can't escape this. And then that's why I said, if all these things... Okay, no, the music one is in the Quran, yeah? mm -hmm. But the dance one is not. It's like how Christians are so into the... What's it? Trinity. But it's not in the Bible, do you understand? Yeah. So I was just thinking of it like that in the first place. But anyway, so if there's anything you want us to react to, let us know down below. Give us the name or the link and we'll react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. Deuces.